Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We've just begun the case for Mr. Will Powers in the murder of the evil magistrate, or as he's really known, Jack Hammer. So, we explored a bit of the surrounding area of the studio, but now we're in the employee area. Which is, come to think of it, the one place we were told not to go. But it seems we have to go here to even find like a key card to get in to the studios. So, uh, let's see what we have here. Nick! This is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey, look! There's Powers the dressing room. No one hears this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Alright. Okay, let's take a look around then. There's a sign by the dressing room door. Interesting that it's just a piece of paper held up by tape. Will Powers, it must be neat to be the star and have your own room like this. Alright. A soda? The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a, there's a T-bone on one of the plates minus the steak. Uh-huh. Mmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. You just you just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. Huh. Interesting. What? Come on, Phoenix. Come on. Uh, what's that? That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. And we'll probably find some clue leading to... Well, just a general clue to this case. Wow, Nick, you know a lot about the industry. Um, what else will they keep in a film studio? Yeah, exactly. Some lumber, a vending machine. Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh, it's so normal. I was expect expecting some cool theme snacks or something. Popcorn, at least. But wait, look! Samurai soda? <laughs> Nick, try this. Ladies first. Huh. All right. A window. Window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted so I can't see inside. And neither could anyone else. Yeah, that definitely doesn't help Mr. Powers in his, uh, in his testimony that he was asleep in his room the entire day. And the door, the door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Hey Nick, let's take a look inside. Maybe we can find something as a souvenir? What do you mean, find? <laughs> you never know, there might be something like the samurai spear. That's the murder weapon. Which also broke, apparently, during the sparring or rehearsal. Uh, we don't need a spear. And that's the murder weapon for crying out loud. Right. Okay, I think we're done here, so let's move inside. Yeah. Alright, nothing immediately jumps out as... Oh, there might be something in that bag down below. Power's dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping? Or at least, this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Maybe someone did and took that opportunity to... Oh... That T-bone steak outside? Maybe... Powers ate that. He seems like a steak-eating kind of guy. Maybe he ate that and it was, like, infused with, like, sleep medicine. And that made him conked out. And therefore, the real murderer would have all the time in the world to do what he wanted to do. Ooh. Okay, I'm not going to assume that's what happened, but I'll maintain that it's likely. All right. Keep an open mind and all that. Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth for his sake. Right. Let's look around a bit. What's this bag? Hmm, this must be Power's bag. Hey, don't open that. Look, ah, there it is, the ID card. We need to enter the studio. Employee card key, that must be Power's. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow. Right. I kind of want to go show that to Old Bag, see what happens. 
Uh, alright. What else can we find here? Tea and cookies. Alright, you just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets. Okay, how many stomachs does papaya have? <laughs> yes! Exactly that, Phoenix. Okay, um... Costumes. There's some regular suits among the costumes here. Are there? Must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of the costumes. I'd say you were already wearing one myself. Oh! That's good. Okay. I always have mirrors like this in dressing rooms. I see my hair is still nice and spiky, just how I like it. Uh, Phoenix, didn't you say you would shave your hair last time? Right. Cosmetics. Right. Ooh. This is the wig you used in Samurai Boogie Woogie? You just made that up, didn't you? Nick, try this on. No. There is something very powerful about just an even, simple, short, deadpan. No. And how can you tell the name of the show just by looking at a wig? I, um, kinda like samurai movies. Kinda. Right. Okay. Anything else in the drawers, perhaps? Oh, there's something else to look at in the bag. I wonder what else is inside Power's bag. Stop that! I partner the thief in training. Alright. Here's the bed he must have slept on. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe the Powers did take a nap here yesterday. And the window. It's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. Because it is kind of dusty outside. Alright, so the window's frosted, but I feel like... If something is super close to a frosted window, you can still kind of make out the shape and colors. So if he slept right below it, then someone looking in would notice that he's there. But I don't know. Alright. Let's, let's move. Let's move back to the employee area. And now back to the main gate. Hello, old bag. What do you think of this card key I just swiped? Can you tell me about this man? Oh, well, that! Isn't that the studio card key? You better watch it! The scene of a murder is no place for sightseeing. I'll be taking that hand it over! Um. Uh oh. Well, wait! No, that's mine! <laughs> Look, I don't have a card key to the studio, see? I want to go pay my respects to Jack Hammer where he died. Oh! What kind of security guard doesn't have a card key to the studio she guards? Like, I know she's posted at the main gate, but even still, that is... Weird? But, all things considered, I'm not even sure that's relevant. Alright. Well, well, you'll just have to wait. Alright, uh, oh, oh my, she's just gonna, she's just gonna do that, isn't she? Yeah, um, we'll, we'll leave her to it. Right, uh, what do you have to say about the card key? Hello? Hey, detective, take a look at this! What's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't show him that! I'll confiscate it! I just wanted to show it off. Alright, right. Uh, anything new? No, okay, let's move into- oh. Okay, let's examine the door then. The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this car key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. Beep. It opened! Alright, we're in. She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. Uh, anything more to say, Gumshoe? Alright. Inside Studio One. Scene of the crime. Ooh. Alright, chalk outline. Okay, there are three cards. Alright, I see a big old backpack, a ladder, a camera. Maybe the camera happened to be rolling, or the microphone back there happened to be recording? I don't know, I don't know. 
Now there's some sort of plank on that chair, a green box that is open next to it. Huh. Right. There's some juicy stuff here already. What is it? Real quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, I guess the severity of it just hit her. Doesn't give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so... so real. Um... Oh, is that tape? I would have thought that was chalk. Oh well. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. Nick! That's no way to talk about your defendant! The murder weapon was a samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Alright, I'm still hung up on the fact that we saw the steel samurai spear broken before the uh, before the murder took place. Anyway, let's let's investigate. Uh, right to left here. Right to left. Oh, I can't even investigate that box. Right. Hey, look, that's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap at the start of filming. Oh. Yeah, um, I guess that's a detail that didn't quite make the transition from, uh, Game Boy Advance graphics to this. Goodness me. And look, a megaphone. I'm sorry, where? Where's the megaphone? Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare do it, Papaya. No, no, no. <laughs> this girl is more trouble than I thought. Yeah, she really doesn't act her age, does she? Oh, what's this? What's this? That's a reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. This doesn't hold it during filming. Huh. What? Where's the enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Hmm. Alright, anything more here? No, okay. A ladder? Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. Oh, yeah, I guess it is like a, a collapsing kind that, like, folds when it's not in use. Huh. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick? Whoa! Whoa, papaya, slow your roll. We're just talking about a ladder here. Right, sorry, this girl is out there. <laughs> uh. Man, okay, uh, let's save the, the imprints here for last. What? I can't examine the backpack? Oh, that's gonna bother me. Wow, look at that camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. What did I just say? Hey, you, no touching that. Oh. Oh, who's this? Huh. This seems like a very... Huh, I can't really figure out what to make of this person. Like, is she a tourist, or... No, she seems like sort of a... Just a, just a, just a general crew member. Interesting. Yeah, it would be great to get a testimony from a crew member who might have been around the area. <laughs> right. Um, who are you? A penny. Who, me? I'm an assistant here. Right. Look at that old pager around her neck. I help with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. Yeah, so... Huh. Cool. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers. WP, I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit, but do what you can for WP, okay? He'd never hurt a fly. He has to be innocent. Huh. Well, for once we have a witness who's on the defendant's side. Wow. Yeah, that's that's new, right? Uh, don't worry. Leave it to us. Righto. Uh, I'm not done investigating, so hold on just a minute, Penny. What's this again? Wow, look at that camera. That must cause a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. No. Oh. Huh, I guess that's the same dialogue again. 
Uh, Mount Fuji? Looks like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used in the Steel Samurai show. Of course, that's the mountain. Neo Fujiyama. <laughs> right. Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo old Tokyo. Oh, right. Right. Alright, what's here? They outlined where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing wound would leave at least a few blood stains. Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's right. During the flashback... We did see a gaping hole in Jack Hammer's chest, but come to think of it, maybe that was just part of the costume. Did he fake his own death by just having the spear impale his costume at the surface? Yeah, why the hell aren't there blessings? I mean, I thought that was just a game like censoring itself to comply with like age ratings or whatever, but. Yeah, there's there's no blood. That's that's canon. There's no blood. What? 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 Oh, I am very confused right now. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Oh, that is logical. Yeah, if it was like a four, if it was like a foam chest with a lot of cloth nearby. Uh. No, I don't care what you say. In the matter of, like, having a hole, a hole in your chest, and then being, like, transported out of here, you would bleed the hell out. You would bleed all your blood. Uh, no. Something is fishy here, and I don't like it. Right. Okay, I guess that's truly it now. Uh. Right, let's have a chat, Penny. Where were you on the day of the crime? I was in the studio the whole day. The studio, you say? This studio? I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Yeah. So if, it, if she was here, near the day, of, near the time of the murder, only one assistant, Yes, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Right, so it was only rehearsal. That means the studio was also open to tourism. And guests. Noted. Oh, I see. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. Uh, right. I also should mention that Old Bag is right there. Um, excuse me, if she claimed to not have a key card to enter the studio, how was she here in the studio watching the rehearsal? And more, moreover, it appears these two actors didn't find that particularly odd. And yes, there's the spear being broken. Oh, I see so much that doesn't add up, yet I don't know what any of it means. Arg. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. Wait, oh, <laughs> reading comprehension, Zephyr. Uh, employee area, this is on the clear other side. Yeah, yeah, there's the planks of woods and the shutter door. This is right outside, uh, this is right outside Mr. Powers' room, okay. Yeah, so Old Bag doesn't need a key card to get in here, like we didn't. Okay, never mind, Com please completely ignore what I just talked about, right? Uh, WP and Hammer were there along with everyone else. Uh, Penny's tendency to call Will Powers WP speaks to a level of closeness that she had with him that she didn't have with anyone else. That makes me wonder. Hmm. The employee area, that's where Mr. Uh, where Powers' dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Look at that. Mr. Powers ate the T-Bone steaks. And, wait. 
No, it looks like it looks like Jack Hammer also ate a steak. Oh, if something happened with that food. And Penny appears to be the one to serve the food? Oh. Oh, there's something interesting going on here. But how would a simple assistant have access to, like, poisons or other chemicals? I'm not sure. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Right, so that, that testimony there kind of lines up with the assumption that at some point Mr. Powers put on his costume, walked across the lot, and entered the studio where he murdered the victim. Huh. Alright, tell me about Will Powers. How do you know him? Yeah, how do you know he was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... What kind of girl do you think I am? What, what kind? No, no, I'm sure you're a fine girl. Um, sorry. So much for giving a confirmation of Powers' alibi. Is it just me or was Penny a bit... defensive there? Not for the topic of... um... prudishness or properness, but defensive in a way that she didn't like me poking at that angle. Huh, everyone's a suspect, you know? What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. We haven't seen that photograph yet, though. It's suspicious as hell. Um, sorry, I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Oh, please do tell. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. A clue. A lead. Well, I don't know about that, but that day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. Oh. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run-through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Uh-oh. Well, the studio was... The studio was open to outsiders that day. But if they had to get in, they had to go by Old Bag. So at minimum, would that mean Old Bag is complicit? Interesting. R really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, exactly, Papaya. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, tell us more about sensing someone. Do you have, like, ESP powers as well? Yes, I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Uh-oh. Nick, what about the security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. Right, okay. Well, Penny, what do you think about my attorney's badge? Sorry, I don't really want to think too much about what happened just yet. Okay. Right. Nope, nothing interesting to talk about here. Alright. Later then. Let's move, let's move. Hello, Gumshoe. Nothing new there. Let's... Okay, old bag. Answers. Ooh, this looks important. What? You're still here. Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Alright. Assistance claim. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1pm, correct? Oh. Wait. Wait. 
Wait, no. When didn't that flashback show a sparring match at like twelve? Or was it nine? Early in the day. So Old Beg would have been there way earlier than 1 p.m. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here during, uh, watching the whole time? Oh. Ellipses and quiet music. Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Oh. Uh, it's never straightforward with these people, I swear. Alright, you better tell me and tell me quick, you spiky-haired cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. No! Papaya, don't rat her out! <laughs> her! She's not even a full-time employee! All you yunnins are like that nowadays. Or, oh, 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 God. <laughs> Respect your elders standing use today for... <laughs> oh, she left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can, do, uh, what we can without looking out for our shoulders. Exactly. Oh, baby. Let's go. Show me that photo. Please, I need to know that photo. Yes! Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Hell yeah! Okay, let's give it a try. Why is Papaya even surprised? Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Wow! I need the date of the murder. It looks like the camera turned on 1 p.m. that day. One. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Oh, if the camera wasn't even on before she arrived, there was plenty of time for someone to sneak in early in the morning and do what they wanted to. Okay. It was... STI-307, I remember. There, entered. Hey, it printed out the data for that day. Let's see what we got. Wow. Yeah, that's a costume, all right. The Steel Samurai costume. Okay, so... The spear is repaired. That is a fixed working spear. The face is turned away on purpose, away from the camera. So that's definitely the wig inside uh, the, the dressing room. The pants. Look at those pants. How is this a picture of Will Powers? Yeah. Yeah, um... Look, I, I'm not that familiar with, like, Japanese fashion throughout history, but I don't think there was ever a point where the pant legs were super long like that. That's just unwieldy. You trip all over the place. Whoever's inside that costume was much, much shorter than Will Powers. That's someone not fitting correctly into the costume. Right. It's someone short. But then again, Will Powers is a hulking beast of a man, so... Anyone could be shorter than him and look like that in his costume. Well, I was suspicious of that it would just be a piece, uh, picture of the costume, right? So I was right about that. Yeah, he wasn't very happy, was he? Huh? Something's printed on the back. Huh? October 5th, 2 p.m. Photo number 2? What was photo number 1? And this was merely 30 minutes before the death. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day? Nope, that's the only one in the computer. Oh. Someone tampered. Someone removed the first photo. Someone with access to... 
Well, someone with access to the computer, but then again, it could happen at any time before 2, including before 1, which is when Old Beg arrived at her job. Huh. Who could it be? Hey, hey, Nick. Can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security later in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. Uh, hey, that's what I said, anyway. Let's show this her, her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Exactly. You need to catch them in the lie, and once you throw them off balance, you can just pry them more and more for more information. <laughs> Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So, are we done for today? Right, I think this photo is what we need for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady? Wow, even Phoenix is suspicious of her. That's... that's interesting. To be continued. Huh. So... I don't know about you, but I think there is a lot more evidence waiting in that studio to be found. We aren't done here, and indeed, if we're going to straight to trial now, I suppose that at some point we'll have a break again and have another investigation phase before fully finishing things off. So let's save. Which one do I want? Uh, this one. All right. October 18th. Oh. Is it a few days? I want to say the death was on the 15th, maybe, or the 16th? Interesting, a day passed, maybe. Uh, District Court, courtroom number four. Ah, uh, hello, Edgeworth. I was hoping it would be him again. Ahem. <clears throat> right. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, yeah, it was a few days ago, uh, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime? Nah, I wouldn't be so sure about that. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Right. I assume that Edgeworth will supply his own evidence as well. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, stuff that that gumshoe supplied to him directly. Um, hmm, I see. Very well. I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call his first witness. Alright, gumshoe first. Here we go. Detective. If you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. Oh! We never saw this. This was a pan to the left. Oh, no. Could I have pan to the left? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I might have missed this. Uh-oh. Um. Is that a loose crate? Look, in the wall, that grate is open! That grate is open! What the hell? Wait, wait. Someone could have sneaked in without all, passing through Old Beg's main gate. They could have sneaked in, but couldn't have passed by her. So someone could have tampered with this area of the studio at any time. What the hell? Alright, the actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning gear. Right, this is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1pm on that day. 
past the security station, there is a gate, see? Past that gate are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there was only three, were only three people there. Right, it would be Jack Hammer, uh, Will Powers, and Old Bag. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. Oh, and the young woman, the production assistant, Penny. Yeah, that's right, Penny was there. But what about... What about Old Beg? We saw her in the background during the routine training. What the hell? I don't know. Okay. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. The victim walked over to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now, jump into later that day, it was 5 p.m., the production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. Question, what would Jack Hammer be doing over there for an hour and a half in his costume alone? More rehearsal? I don't know. Something, something's a bit off about that. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to the whole thing again? Uh, yeah, let's skip it. I got it. I think I can probably remember that. Alright. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Yeah, it was found stuck in the chest of the victim. Hopefully I get to point out that it broke at one point. Uh, your honor. This case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is... What did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Right. Will the witness declare her name? Please do. Oh, please do. Huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is... That face is even more terrifying than her other one. Oh, no. <laughs> My, aren't you a handsome... Why does... Why does she like him and not me? Come on. Ah. I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Oh, he hates it. Uh, your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Oh. Right. <laughs> Your name, please! <laughs> ah. Yeah. Alright. Wendy... Oh. I called her a windbag! I even called her a windbag earlier. Her name's Wendy Oldbeck. This game. Ah, oh, this is just like when I talked about Papaya being 10 years old and then the game made a joke about that. Uh, I can't even anymore. This is cool. A lot of children make fun of me and because my name you can't believe it, but there was this boy captain of the chess club and junior high who got me a little big when I cried and big to the on him. <laughs> Objection, I I object to the witness is talking to the <sighs> Okay, maybe I should be thankful that she's more into Edgeworth than Phoenix. Uh, refrain from wanton rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony? Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, see, I was. To get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. 
You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. Right, okay. And I can't forget that I can press everything without fear. So I want to do that, I think. If only to just squeeze out all the dialogue this game has to offer, you know? Right? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run-through there since the morning. Right. I, well, had some errands to run that morning. Ooh, did you now? Anyway, it was 1 o'clock when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5, uh, 5 p.m. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. Well, the gate showed... The gate showed that it was 2 p.m. Huh. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. Righto. You saw the defendant then? Hmm, very well. Let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Uh, the trials are always my favorite part of this game, I think. I, I like the trials a lot more than the, than the investigation phases. Right. Right. Uh, press this as well. So up until that time, anyone who wanted to wanted to could go into the studio. Yeah, exactly. Well, there wasn't a security guard at the gate, no. But the main gate was locked, theory. You need an employee card key to get in. Ah. Ah. All right, the card key that I have. So what she's saying is no one who wasn't supposed to be there could get in. Was there anyone at the studios when you arrived at the guard station? Alright, let's press this as well. A run-through? <laughs> right, run-through. Like how Jackhammer was run-through with the spear. Right, gotcha. Uh, they were working on a scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. They got the basics figured out by noon and were to use the afternoon for practice. Rehearsal was supposed to start at 5 o'clock. That's why poor old Hammer went to Studio One in the afternoon. So Powers was in his dressing room sleeping when he was supposed to be practicing. Right. So he was he went to sleep when he should have been awake. That lends credence to my theory that he was like sleep poisoned or whatever. Talk about a laid back hero. Yeah, why did you only get there in the afternoon? I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers, observing, you know. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the car station? Whippersnapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I always watch Hammer's run-throughs. Always. Yeah, she is Jack Hammer's biggest fan. Never missed one in all my years. So she learned the techniques. You know, for how attached she is to Jack Hammer, she's not too sad about his death. Wow, I want to see a Steel Samurai run through too. Uh, you could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Right. Anyway, it was one o'clock when I got to the guard station. Right, so she must have followed along with Jack Hammer during the duration. Oh! Oh, I'm such a fool! Okay, let's look at the guide map. When Jack Hammer walked from the employee area on the right to Studio One, he must have passed through the gate. Therefore, Jack Hammer must have been the first photo taken that day by the camera. We have the second, the second photo, that's photo number two, 
which showed the man in the steel samurai costume. But, and this is a big but, the guide map shows that the first cam- the first camera photo taken must have been of uh, Jack Hammer passing through. Now the question is, why would someone want to tamper and remove that photo? Maybe Jack Hammer was with someone when he walked through, or maybe his costume was already damaged, so he's preparing to frame Mr. Powers. There's no telling what happened. Well, anyway, uh, regardless, I think we can safely assume that Jack Hammer is actually truly dead because he has a freaking autopsy report fresh from the RPD. Uh, RPD? No, this isn't Raccoon City. This is just the PD. California PD, or Japan PD, whatever you have. Uh, goodness. Right. Okay, 1 p.m. when you got to the guard station. Tell us more about that. Did you see the victim then? Yes, you should have. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. She should have seen him because she went with him while he walked over. Right. I was then at the main gate from then until five o'clock. No breaks, not even a second. Uh, of course, I'm a professional, you know. Ooh, she hesitated, she stuttered. Are you criticizing how I do my job, whippersnapper? No, it's just after I've seen you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday. I can't watch the gate and eat donuts at the same time. Snipper whapper! Ooh! <laughs> Snipper whapper? Old windbag is losing it, Nick. Why don't you lose? Uh, raise an objection. So the witness was on duty for the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What do you see? Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Which is for me because a certain man wrapped by, right by me at 2 p.m. No, he would have walked back before, um... Wait. So didn't Papaya just tell me to raise an objection to that sentence there, back then, that she was at there for until five? Uh. All right. Um. Okay. Let's present this. Um. He didn't walk right by me at by you at two p.m. He walked right by the gate further down the road. Let me get this straight, old bag, or Miss Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? Well, you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? J just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. Yeah, that could be anyone. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag. Is this the... Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? No, they can't. Oh, wow. You know something's irrefutable when even Edgeworth is just... Uh, he corrects the defendant. Wow. Um, well, I mean, I wonder? <laughs> oh, he lost himself. <laughs> Uh, uh, true, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Ooh. I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss, er, uh, Witness. He's having trouble calling your old bag, apparently. Uh, however, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Humph, knows the old man. Of course I have proof. Uh-oh. Nani? What? <laughs> Even Edward is surprised! <laughs> uh, the prosecution would like to ask the old, uh, the witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? 
should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me, this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Oh, gumshoe. Wow, old windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Uh, let's hear about your proof, then. Right, so did she make something up to fit what she wants to be true? I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, which happened at the actor's side of the, at the, of the place, not in one of the studios, but the actor room, uh, I saw Powers trip and fall. Yeah, she did. And she should have noticed that the spear broke. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Yeah. Okay, presumably I need to press that to get her to say it was the spear, and then I can counter by saying that the spear was whole and complete by the time it was recovered as the murder weapon. Apparently he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Oh, Mr. Powers didn't tell us that when we interviewed him. Now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his legs. See, he clear his day. No, he's, he's dragging both his legs. They, those pants aren't fitting. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? No, I am not happy. Hmm, so he had sprained his ankle. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Yeah, exactly. I need to press her claim that something broke. The man in the photo. I never say anything I don't mean to mind you. Um... A whipper <laughs> He didn't even get to say anything that time. Hey, I haven't said anything yet, yeah. I'll have you know that I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs. Everything I've said is on the straight and narrow. Up and up. Youth today, always whining about each other, pointing fingers this way and that, enough to make an old lady cry. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please, for all our sakes, try not to upset the witness. I think Edgeworth has met his match. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, that morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. Trip and fall? Yes, and to think, he's supposed to be the Steel Samurai. What a laugh. So Powers sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. Oh. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. Oh. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant then? Yeah, where was she? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Huh. You continue testimony. Yeah, which prop did he break? He broke a prop? Sure did, his own samurai spear. The murder weapon. Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. Oh! This strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Right. Right, okay. A break in the shaft has been mended with duct tape. Right. Was Mr. Powers' ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room and rest up after lunch. Thus the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot, okay. I think we've heard enough? Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there's one thing that bothers me. Ooh, the judge is asking a question. Which is... Where is the Steel Samurai costume now? <gasps> oh! That's a really good question! Um, uh-huh. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. Wow. Wow. Um, we're looking, though. Huh. Anyway, that's not important. 
The witness did see the steel samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Yeah, I suppose that's right. Are you sure, you're sure, Your Honor? I need to object. Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Yes, exactly! My point that someone could have easily circumvented the camera, especially if they're there as an employee and are there so often. And they know where the cameras are, you know? Uh-oh. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor? Will the witness continue her testimony, please? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right. So that witness testimony phase ended without me objecting to anything, even. Interesting. Right. Uh, the time of poor Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Mr. Will Powers. No. No, there was a first photo taken, and if she was in the booth, she would have seen that photo when she got there, at least. No one else went there. Oh yeah, that's the sentence I'm going to object to. Uh, object to. If they had, I would have seen them. Okay, I could object to that as well. Right. Okay, that's a short, short testimony, so I'll press everything first. That would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right, here we go. Here we go. Yes, it was. No contesting that. No reason to doubt that she wouldn't know. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Mr. Will Powers. Let's hold it. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody suspicious looking pass by at all. Well, we know that Mr. Uh, Mrs. Oldbeg has a very subjective term for who uh, classifies as suspicious looking. Right. Yeah. Okay. No one else went there. What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before 1 o'clock? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Um, I don't know about you, but that looks absurdly easy to hop. What the hell? Not to mention, if they had, I would have seen them. Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, edgy boy. That uh, edgy boy. <laughs> oh, he hates it. Old Windbag sure has ball. Wow. Papaya language. Old Windbags have a way of skipping over important details, after all. Or for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps? Wow. Phoenix. Right, okay. If they had, I would have seen them. That's... Oh. Uh, whoops, I absolutely loot, uh, looped. If they had, I would have seen them. You would? So why aren't you saying so? That's, uh, photo number two. Right, I did it. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, Sunny. So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right, anyway. It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2 p.m., 
Photo number two. Even I know that means I was photo taken at 2 p.m. on October the 15th. Really sunny. Actually, I knew that too. This year was a bit at the end where it says photo number two. Photo number two. The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was on the only photo? Yeah. Order. Order. Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. If there's only data for one of the photos, who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access, the security lady herself. Or anyone who got to that, uh, that uh, computer before 1 o'clock when she arrived there. Like, you watch your mouth with the snapper. Oh. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. Like, uh, for example, that hole in the wall, the grate that was opened? Someone could have crawled through there. I don't know. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. It's likely that the first was Jack Hammer. The question is why that photo was tampered with and erased. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Uh, can the witness explain this to the court? Um, uh, ahem, I, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help! <laughs> Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Humph, so now that you are, you're a whippersnapper too. Um... Oh no. Whippersnapper? Something that matter, Miss Oldbig? Ah, uh, that, that's right. I i just remembered something. What? Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate, someone other than the Steel Samurai? Er, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. Ooh. That's not a good look, Windbag. Er, old bag. Sigh, I see. Your testimony, please. The other person. Every day, after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that just aren't suspicious looking, you see. Right. Okay. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Well? What was on that freaking photo? Right. Uh, this is the first time I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I've only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Turn from that expected, but I kind of expected this. All right. We need to, that's a short testimony again, so let's press everything again. Right. Another job? Th that's right, I check all the people that passed by the main gate that day. I look closely at every one of the photos that security camera takes. Do you back up all of the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes, but those computers are just so frustrating. Uh-oh. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking. Alright. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces for the most part. Oh! Come on! Wow! This lady is horrible at her job! Man! For, for the most part... This is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking Will Powers' photo, did I? I think she is missing the point. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, uh, come to think of it, I remember throwing out one photo that day. Yes, please tell me what that photo was. 
Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Humph, a fanboy. Wow, I was right. There was someone else in here. Someone, a guest who arrived to take the tour or to look around on the day that they weren't acting. A f fanboy? Steel Samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. Well, wait a second. Didn't you just say no one could else could get in? Yeah! I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the play area. Yes! That thing. Oh, yeah, I can see the sidewalk from there. Uh, the grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside, and, well, that's where they come in. Coming through the drain. Maybe it was a deranged fanboy that did the deed. Weird. Um, they come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And? They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. Oh, that's why the word whippersnapper jogged her memory. Wow. I don't want to believe a kid could pull off a murder. Or maybe they took the job... They, maybe they took the show too literally and thought the evil magistrate who was in his costume at the time was really the evil bad guy. So they took cartoon justice into their own hands and killed the man. They thought they were doing good. That would definitely be something a child might think to do. Man, I don't, I don't know anymore. K kids? So, on the photo that you erased, it was a boy, probably second or third grade. Oh, that's, yeah, that's young. I get way too much enjoyment out of doing that. Sorry. Uh, order! Order! Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. Wait a second. If the kid walked into the Studio One... Why isn't there a photo of him leaving? Is the child still there? Was the child still there the entire time? My brain can't even right now. Um, right. One was a steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh, yes, well, we see this type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. Boy in second third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear? Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. What What kind of prop is it? Is it a real freaking spear? What? Right. As I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information and no forgetting vital information this time. Alright. Well, wow. Mr. Powers? Uh. Right, I suppose right now it's it's been another hour, and I don't want this to go on too long, so... I'll call it here. Very interesting developments have come to light. For a while there was seeming certain that Old Beg did the deed, but now I'm not so sure. I'm still very, very suspicious about the food 
which was served by Penny and may or may not have been like sleep poisoned or whatever to make uh, Mr. Powers here fall asleep. Um, and then there's a the matter of a young boy who apparently sneaked in. Yeah, wait, actually, if the boy sneaked in, he would have to turn around immediately because he would have needed a key card to get into the studio. And if he didn't have a key card, he would turn around and walk the other way and be captured on the camera again. That little boy passed by the camera and then disappeared. He might still be at the studio even now. The, the plot thickens. Well, this has been Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I've been Zephyr the Jester. I thank you for watching, and hopefully I will catch you next time. Oh, man. Things are heating up. So, take care now.